Welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is show you how to solve this exponential um, equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the one to one property. And again, remember the one to one property says if I have b to the x equals b to the y, then x equals y. So one thing I'm going to want to do is see if I can rewrite these using the same base. So I have 4 and 1 half, and I got to think, you know, how can I rewrite those with the same base? Well, I can rewrite 4 as 2 raised to the second power. And if I want to rewrite 1 half, how am I going to rewrite 1 half raised to the um, base 2? Because remember, you want to rewrite them with the same base. Well, remember that x to the m equals 1 over, um, I'm sorry, x to the negative m equals x over x to the m. So therefore, 1 over x to the m equals x to the negative m. So therefore, if this is raised to the first power, I can rewrite this as 2 to the negative first power equals x, plus, or x minus 3. Then <clears throat> the next thing is, if remember, we have x to the m raised to the n, that equals x to the m times m. So these are going to be your property of exponents that we're going to keep on, you know, you're going to want to make sure you remember. So therefore, I'm going to have to multiply these. Here, I'm going to have to make sure I apply distributive properties. So therefore, I have 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the negative x plus 3. Now I have the same base by using my one-to-one -one properties. I can say 2x is equal to a negative x plus 3. Add x to both sides. I have 3x equals 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve using one-to-one -one properties. Thanks.